This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte 990 FXA UD5 motherboard. The Gigabyte 990 FXA UD5 motherboard is a new high-end feature-rich motherboard featuring the AMD 990 FX chipset. The AMD 990 FX chipset supports the new FX processors from AMD which will include Bulldozer and Lano. It's also backwards compatible to AM3 processors. It is not, however, backwards compatible to AM2 Plus or AM2 processors. Just keep that in mind. The 990 FXA, very feature rich as we said. Taking a look at the front of the box, it's got quite a few features listed here. It is AM3 Plus CPU ready for support of Bulldozer and Lano, as stated. Driver MOSFETs, ATI Crossfire, NVIDIA SLI. And it's got Gigabytes 333 certification. What that means is USB 3, SATA 3, and 3x USB 3 power, designating the three times the power supplied by USB 3 over USB 2. A plus 2 phase power, it's also part of their Ultra -dur Durable series. Ultra Durable motherboards have two times the copper, Japanese solid capacitors, lower RDS, and ferrite core chokes. Taking a look down the bottom, you see the support for the AMD unlocked FX CPUs, 9 series chipset, reiteration on the 333 and the ultra durable with the solid Japanese capacitors, ferrite core chokes, 3 times USB power, USB 3, SATA 3, and 108 dB signal to noise on the audio output. That's a very, very high signal to noise for an enhanced audio experience. It is also fully HDMI audio capable. Moving around to the back of the box, we find quite a bit more information on the 990 FXA UD5. You even have a small picture of the motherboard itself with some pointers showing some of the features physically, showing the A plus 2 phase power design. Support for AM3 Plus 8-core CPUs, two eSATA ports, USB 3 uh, ports, the 108 dB audio connectors, three-way SLI and Crossfire capable. Keep in mind the first two slots are 16x, third slot being 8x. When the third slot is utilized, it the, will drop the second slot to 8x. Hardware precision over voltage controls, dual channel DDR3 memory support, eSATA 6 gigabyte per second support, and dual BIOS support with 3 terabyte hard drive support. Moving down again, the Ultra Durable 3 is explained, driver MOSFET, driver MOSFET chart showing power efficiency, 2x copper showing the difference in the traces, also featuring listing out some of the benefits. Lower temperatures, better overclocking, better power efficiency, better ESD protection, lower EMI, and lower impedance. 333 explained with USB 3, contrasting the speeds of USB 3 and USB 2. USB 3x power, showing the differences in voltage between USB 3 and USB 2. SATA 3.0 speeds explained. Over here, three-way SLI. The motherboard features on-off charge, which allows you to charge your pieces of equipment, uh, such as a smartphone, um, MP3 player, with the computer off. Got cloud overclocking, auto green, and accelerated hard drive features. The packaging on the 990FXA UD5 may seem a little bit busy at first, but you have to realize they're trying to cram an awful lot of information onto the packaging so that you have a complete picture of what it is that you are getting into inside. Uh, feature rich, like we say, all very well explained on the packaging. Opening the box of the 990 FXA UD5, find a fairly standard array of accessories. Your driver and utility CD, full featured manual, I.O. plate, multilingual installation guidebook, gigabyte badge, two 
I'm sorry, four black SATA cables, SLI bridge, and a three-way SLI bridge, which is actually a solid piece. Unlike the cable, actual solid board. Taking a look at the 990 FXA UD5 motherboard, it is an all-black circuit board, very nicely laid out. All of your expansion slots, RAM, all of your headers are done in black. Nice even finish, very good looking motherboard, nice and clean. Taking a look at the North Bridge, South Bridge, and even on the capacitors, you've got some nice chunky dark gray heat sinks with blue trim, black finished heat pipe going between. Going over, you've got the AM3 Plus socket, uh, also backwards compatible to AM3. Support for your heat sink. Four RAM slots, once again, dual channel. Motherboard power, six SATA three uh, inputs, as well as two SATA G SATA 6.0 gigabit per second inputs. They are controlled by a Marvell controller rather than by the AMD controller. PCI Express 1X, two pre PCI Express X16 slots, one X8 well as 2x4. You've also got a legacy PCI slot. Moving down, got your case header, TPM header, you have one USB 3.0 header, three USB 2.0 headers, COM header, system fan, and your audio header. Back of the motherboard, once again, all black, very nice and clean looking, nice heavy duty backplate, no need to change that unless your CPU cooler has a supplied backplate which is going to be necessary for installation. Taking a look you can see all of the heat sinks on the front of the motherboard are screwed in making them easily removable if you want to go to an aftermarket solution. Back panel connectors on the 990 FXA UD5. Got one shared PS2 connector, two USB 2 connectors on the first series of connectors. Moving on, two eSATA ports, 1394, four more USB 2, two USB 3 connectors, two more USB 2, LAN connector, and 7.1 audio connectors. The 990FXA UD5 is a very sleek looking motherboard, all black, everything plastic on the board is black. Uh, you've got a nice dark gray, almost military looking uh, gunmetal on the heat sinks with a little bit of blue trim. Going to be a very nice backdrop for anything you might add in the way of coolers or lighting and will definitely give you a sleek appearance. Also a very feature rich motherboard featuring all of the latest features and support for the new bulldozer and Lano chips.